Hey guys, Steve here uh, on Steve's Fishing Channel. Okay, I'm here at Mitchum Common. I'm not in my normal location today, I'm at Tanks Corner because it's way too windy where I normally fish and you know the floats just come in you know, all the time. So I'm at Tanks Corner at the moment and uh, I've been talking to a guy while he's been watching me catch. I've actually had four, four out and I've just had a bite then. And there we go, we've got another one, so that's... If it's still on. Yep. It's only a small one, but... I'm catching, um... Roach. At the moment. He said the more yellowy one is roach. And the more pinky ones are rough. So... Oh, I still can't tell the difference sometimes, but... Yeah, you know, rud roach, still a fish. So I'll uh, bring the uh, camera around this way so you can see what's going on. Oh, shit. Bloody maggots keep escaping again. I don't know how they are getting at this box, but they are getting at this box. So I'm not f really fishing deep, probably about a foot. Cast no that direction. The float is actually still going, you know, moving around, but right, I'm catching. The thing is when you're trying to sort stuff out, you pick with some bites. Well, I do anyway. So I've had uh, five, I think, already now. And I've been here probably about half an hour. Got another one. No, I missed that one. I am going to miss a few times of time, I know that. No, can't help that. That's what fishing's all about. Captain and missing. Captain and missing. I've done that in this too many. I'm also um, chucking out this little small part feed. Sorry, that one I can't throw too hard because I've got a bad arm. Right, it's coming away over here. Make it should be okay still. Yeah, I was just talking to a guy called Robbie. Ah, oh, these maggots are dead. Put some fish on. They seem to be eating the white maggot here. Down this side. And I have put pink on. Um, but they seem to want the white maggot. But I will try pink a bit later on. Because it's kind of weird, like, you know, um, You know, around this side they're eating white maggot, and the other side they're eating pink maggot. Really weird. Like the guy I just spoke to him said it's maybe because the uh, colour of the water, you know, because we've had the rain, made it probably a bit more murky. But, um, 
I won't be able to do too much recording because I've only got like 100 minutes on this one. I've got to charge the battery up. Take it, take it. Yep, yeah, where we? Number six. There we go. These are the mag uh the ones I'm catching mostly around here again. So most of the ones I probably caught the other day might have been broke. I'm not hundred percent sure. I can't tell the difference between roach and perch half the time. Not with my eyesight anyway. took the light pink one on that one. I'm going to try gold and white. Or yellow and white. It's like a yellowy gold. So that's fish number six. Sorry that you didn't see all the others, but... Um, I'll go to your pool six now. And another one, number seven. Must have a little shoulder uh, shoulder there. Oh, that one just come off. I didn't even take it off the hook, it fell off. That's number seven. I don't know how long I'm staying here today, but as long as I catch more than 10 like I did the other day, beat the score. This one was a rud, this one. Oh, it just splashed me all over my face. The wrong thing. I think this one's a roach, just more pinky. I am actually more sheltered from the wind. So, number eight. Guy Robin was over there. He's heading back this way, I think. So, um, I'm going to turn the camcorder off in a minute. Save some battery power and I'll uh, give you an update on the amount of fish I've caught later. I've caught eight in there so far. Not, f not far off until I get the tent. So I'll um, end this one now and I'll. Uh, do a bit more recording later guys. Catch you later. So I'm um, just having a few seconds break because I've got some swans in my bay, in my swim. And I can't really do much until they bugger off. And we've got some other birds over there. Don't know they're geese or ducks. I think they're ducks. Geese. One or two. Can you move off my swim, please? Little sods. 
Well, Scarpa, don't you get my hook in your mouth. Go on, move. Scram. Now these are protected by the Queen and I have seen people try to grab these before. Um, about a year and a half ago, a dog jumped in and killed one of the baby swans and nothing was done about it. So anyway, now I can get back to doing a bit more fishing again guys. Number 10. I matched my score from the other day now. Lovely. So it was kind of worth coming out after all. Although it's still a bit cold. They're still eating mostly the white maggot. That was only just caught on his top lip, that was. We had a, a good go at both the maggots. Now the bloody swans are back again. So one thing guys, never bring food over here because the swans will just keep coming over. And not only that, like you know, this water is kind of dirty as well. So um, you know you're gonna be bring something to wash your hands with before you start eating. You know, I've got something on there. Come on, take it, you son of a bitch. Yep. Number 11. It's supposed to be called Tench Corner, but I ain't caught one Tench yet. So that one took the light pink maggot this time. Actually, bring it around a bit. Now, this um, rod rest, you might think it's a bit crappy, but my mate actually made those for me, Beamish. So, Beamo, if you ever get to see this video, thank you for doing these rod rests. Another bite. I'm going to beat my score today, but well, I've already beaten it. Bad 11. 10, 11. Can't remember now. 11, I think. See, something's playing with it, you know, like. I, I can't see that being the current all the time. Why should the can't be making the float move that quick? And that weird kind of angle. I think this is number eleven coming up. Bye. 
I'm going to class it as number 11 when I catch it. Yeah, it's number 11. I think this could be 12, but I'm going to class it as 11. Because, um, I've been sure I've missed. I think I've kind of like lost count. So I'm getting a mixture of rudd and roach at the moment. So I don't want to use a too small a hook because it's getting a little bit of a problem getting this one out as it is and I'm on the full beam. You know, if I use a smaller one, 16, that's going to be a little bit more hard to get out. Current, you know, keeps changing. One minute's nice and slow, the next minute's bloody fast. But, um, Robin, who I was talking to earlier, said that they are perching here, and uh, someone must have been trying to catch some perch or something because there's, um, spinner over there on that tree so um, I don't know much about spinners to be honest with you I really need to get some more proper fishing line no sinking line no it's sinking oak more better than now but Still not sinking properly, you know. Now I'm no expert fisher, you know. I couldn't tell you one north and another um, hooks. I can only just about suss out rods. I just get any rod, you know. I think, to be honest with you, um, rod is a rod. It does the same kind of thing, but you get different quality, different standards. Number twelve. I can't that off, so that's a number twelve. I've beaten Sunday's um, score, which I'm happy about. There's a saying like, you know, a rod is a rod to me. It doesn't matter if it's like a 20 pound rod or a fucking 250 pound rod. You know, I'm using this little telescopic one, the NGT 2.4 meters tracker, uh, 6.5, maybe it is 6.5 or something. Oh, B-Sec, OW, 250 gram. And I, this is all I'm using today, and have been for the last week. And I'm catching okay on them. You know, I'm not saying it's going to be great for catching bigger pike, not pike, um, bigger tension, possibly um, carp, if I catch any carp. Nice to catch a carp actually, or a roach.
wind keeps changing around. It's getting cold over here now, so uh, I'm going to give it a little break in a minute. Uh, just like to stretch my legs. And uh, see what's going on. I've only got like about oh shit, that many minutes left. 65 minutes left on here. So I'm gonna have to end this one now. And I'll catch you a bit later on guys. So I'm back guys. Um still on 12 fish at the moment. Um I nearly had to stop videoing for a little while because I the battery I had was running very low. Uh these are the batteries I use and I've realised that I did have another one in my bag which has got like 400 minutes uh, I'll get these off eBay and they're about 9, no about 10, 15 quid each so they're pretty good, you know, holds 400 minutes and the one that I'm using now has got 455 minutes so I'm not, not saying I'm not going to be recording for 455 minutes but I will continue doing a bit more recording if it gets, gets a bit boring for you, I do apologise Drink. Got another drink here somewhere. <sighs> so this common was actually maintained by called a guy called um, George uh, yeah I can't remember his surname um, George Biggles or Biggins or something like that um, he's actually got a monument um, on the other side of the common here he actually maintained this in the late 1800s and uh, they put a monument over him, of him over here. And they've actually named <coughs> one of the smaller lakes. There we go. They've named one of the smaller lakes under his uh, surname. Well, that's a bigger one. That's a nice one. Biggest one I've caught so far. Copy that. Well, I don't many ounces, but biggest one I've caught. Nice, isn't it? Going back. And, um, he actually came off the hook just as I went to take out of his mouth. My hand is actually really stiff. And they're cold because the water's cold. But um, there are actually three lakes on the common. Like this one which is supposed to be called the Seven Islands but some of the islands have now disappeared and it's really like three islands um, you've got the one island not far from here which is about a 10 minute walk and the other small island um, Biddle's Island I think it's called um, that it's also about a 10 minute walk. So each lake is on three different lakes. Three lakes, one on each island. Three lakes, one on each common.
so that is number 13. Number 14. Smaller one, but it's still a fish. Another little one. They have been public land. There has been rumours that you ain't supposed to be fishing on here, but you know, people have been fishing here for years. Um, I've even been st uh, stopped by a police officer in the past, and uh, he just mainly asked me if I caught much, and I said, well, you know, a fair amount. Not that many, but you know. Uh, at the time, I think it's probably about 20 or so. And there was all like rud and rope. And I did actually say to them, why well, can't I fish here? Go, no, you can fish here. But there are supposed to be stories that you ain't supposed to fish in this lake, but. Um, there's no, you know, it's public land. There's no um, signs up saying no fishing. Oh, I missed that one. There's no signs up saying no fishing. Uh, there used to be signs up saying no fires, but everyone takes no notes of that and still has fires around here. Um, you know, when it's nice and hot and sunny, people usually come over. This that one again. Um, people come over and do barbecues and stuff, and they ain't supposed to because they don't take the trash away. That's two I missed there. Well, crafty one here. Yeah, it's called Bidder's Pond. So, um, it's George B Can't take it, you sod. Got a crafty fish here. Ah! Oh, I felt it. I felt him. I really felt him. It was a, a good sized one as well, but he didn't take it. What a sod. That was a good sized fish, I felt it. Maybe it still might be over there. Oh, come on, swans, move out of my way. Come on, hurry up. Stop stirring up all the water, you. I know it's your pond, but come on, give me a bit of a break. Oh, that's a bit too far. So yeah, you got the seven island which I'm on now, but it's not really seven islands because like some of the islands have just completely disappeared because the water level's gone down. Um, you got the one island which I'll probably go to next week, and then you've got Bridges Pond, which is very small, but still have fishing. You know, you've got your roach and perch and rudd in there. Well, apparently it's supposed to be perch now, but I've not really seen any. It's like here, you know, this guy who I was talking to earlier, off camera, uh, Robin. He's like 60, he said, and like, he comes over and he uses different kind of techniques, you know, float, spinners, uh, rod. Um, I think he said he normally uses a size. 16 most of the time, you know, for float fishing. I'm using the 14. 
but I don't really like using too many different size hooks. Um, you know, 14 is good enough. You no, know, 16 is okay, but I think with the small fish here, you know, a smaller hook can get stuck a lot more than 14 can down their gallet. And um, sometimes can be a little bit more hard to take out. But, um, in the next couple of days I'll be over here again, depending on the weather. Next week I'll probably go over to the One Island, check that out, see what's going on over there. Do a video over there. And then, as soon as I get my fishing licence, I'm over to Clapham Common for a few days. May even camp over there, if the weather's better. Some little crafty sod took the white maggot off my hook. No, I don't. I know I said this on my video before. I don't like chucking out loads and loads of maggots. You know, not like some people do, where they chuck out, you know. Thousands of them. But at time to time, I don't mind chucking out a few little pinchfuls, get the old fish in. Shit, that's fucking arm is killing me. I've got a bad right arm. Chucking out maggots like that is uh, very painful for me. Phone maybe is that? I've got the fucking arm I'm on the chair. So number fourteen soon. Bit too much nine still. It's coming out in too quick. Nine's not going straight, you know. <laughs> it's only a small one, but that would have been 14. Number 14. So I can't count that because, as I say, like, it came off. Some people would cheat and say, oh, look, it's number 14, but I'm not cheating. There's like a lot more people down here fishing actually.
there will be probably um, April. Once everyone's got their licenses. Now, the guy told me like Capham Commons and the is a non-fishing license uh, lake, but I'm not going to take too much of a risk going over fishing without a license. I've got a permit to fish there. But, um, I'd rather wait until I get my license. First of April, and then um, start going over there a few times. Him. Felt that one swirl. That went for the uh, yellowish one. You gotta make it yellowy gold. Put a pink one on. So I'm still using two maggots. Keep shutting the bloody lid down because the maggots keep escaping because the uh, bit damp inside the box. Come on, Fulton. Got a bite now. I ain't taking them now. <laughs> Fucking caught a leaf. Number 14. There we go, 14 fish. These are quite nice fish actually, you know, quite good condition. I've not seen any like marks on any of them. That one went for a pink maybe at that time. So they keep changing around, you know. Sometimes I take the white, sometimes I take the pink. I have to keep closing my damn maggot box up. So I keep escaping. So I don't really like wasting bait. Not like some people who goes out and buys like 10 pints, 20 pints of maggots and completely stick them all in in a swim. Come on, take it. No, missed that one. I was fucking around with that. Took the uh, started sucking off the pink maggot on that one. That's me with the rod thing. But not, you know, um, one island's quite a good little lake. You know, got a lot of good carp in there. Lots of fucking like, you know, rudd and roach. I 
Well, they say there's perch in it, but I've never seen any in here. There we go, number 14. Oh, come off! <laughs> Shit! Yeah, the pink one. Pink maggot. Suck that quite dry. I don't mind chucking out maggots time to time, but... But I don't like to waste bait, you know. And I say when people start chucking out, you know, 10, 20 fucking pints of uh, maggots, I think that's a waste. No, it just, I think it just kind of like overfeeds the swim, really. I suppose it depends on where you're fishing. What lake. What kind of uh, fish you're fishing. I'm getting too much slack on the line. Well, I can't understand why I'm getting so much slack. Quiet now. Always oh, taking the maggots off that one. The white one's a bit fucked up. Pink one's disappeared. to a smaller hook maybe a little bit later no I'm, I'm gonna stay here a lot longer than I've been over the last few times I've been here not sure what the time is right now Probably around about midday, 12 o'clock. Have a look in a minute. So I'm trying to bring in the slack 
time to time. When you get like the single knot, that's me trying to bring in some of the slack. I'll take it, you bastard. Oh, I missed that one again. They've been like sods today now. Let's have a little break. Let's see what the time is. Yeah, midday, 12 o'clock. It's been too bad today though. It's still a bit cold, but not as cold as it was the other day when I was freezing cold and I'm in a, a bit of a corner where I ain't got so much wind blowing at me but for this being tense corner I've not caught one tench yet maybe they come out later in the afternoon I'm at 6, 7 o'clock no, I'm not staying that long though, probably staying another three or four hours, but... I'll um, possibly change out over to another hook in a minute. Probably go to a 16. I think the old hook's wearing that a little bit is um the make it's coming off it sliding up the hook. It's gone a bit quiet here though. I was catching as many as I was just now. Still waiting for the full length one and I can change it your cover. It's getting cold again, the feet are getting cold so I'll have to uh, have a little break in a minute and walk around to get, to get my feet warm, uh, warmed up. There we go, do not come off. There we go, full length. Now he come off. <laughs> I landed it and it just came off as I went to take the hook out. So that's still cast its full length to me. So guys, I'm close this off a little bit. Now as I say, this is tense corner. Um, there's a little bay here. 
which I've sometimes used to give a lot of people about. So there's a little bay here, which usually is quite good. Right, so I'm going to close this off for a little bit, get another hook out, probably use a size 16, and see where that goes. So I'll catch you later. Okay guys, me again. Right, so um, I've changed over to a size 16, uh, which is a lot smaller, as you can see. Uh, with this you can probably get just one maggot on. Probably two, but I'm gonna just stick one on to see how the catching gets with this. I might go back onto a 14 later. Depends on like you know if these hook keeps get stuck down they've got damn throats and harder to get out then I will probably go back to a 14 later. I didn't have a walk around, I just wanted to get this sorted out first, so I'll catch anything. If I catch one, then I'll. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it come off. Come off again. Damn, I'll hook myself here. Yeah. Hooked my finger. Number 15. So yeah, this, this seems to be okay. On the sides, 16 hook. Barely inside his mouth though. And that was on a white maggot. <laughs> My hands are cold, so I'm going to take a five minute break, definitely this time. And just like have a quick little walk about. And uh, rub my hands a little bit, warm my hands up. So I'll be back again later on, guys. Take it easy. Right, guys, me again. Um, Steve. Right, okay. I'm on a size 16 hook. And I've been using one maggot. And I found it a lot more harder to actually catch them on one maggot on a 16 hook. So. I just went on to two maggot on a 16 hook and it seems to be a lot easier to catch them. Why I don't know. Um, maybe they had to take the maggot in a lot more into their gully. Um, Cause like on a single maggot. I've definitely noticed that it was a lot more harder to strike and catch them. But on two maggot, it's a lot more easier to strike and catch them. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's because they uh, have to open their mouth wider to get the maggot in. Um, could also be 
the extra vibration of the two maggots um, vibration on the water that they're causing but I've caught 22 fish now so I've doubled my Sunday and quadrupled my first day ever here this year So having a little bit of problem time to time with the line not sinking. I'm definitely gonna have to um, take this uh rule off later and stick in some soapy water. Hope that has um, helped with the line. It's getting a bit cold here as well, so um, I was planning to stay till four o'clock, but I might go around about two, three o'clock. No, I've had a good day so far. Twenty-two fish. Well, that's an unusual bite. That one. Normally, I think that could be a carp. to see some uh but oh, that's a skilt fish <laughs> call it skilt fish because it skilts along the water number 23 there we go that is on a size 16 hook I just jumped off by itself saved me doing it thank you fish but I still got it in No, I could have had that in my hand, but I decided to show you, and it just kind of jumped off the hook. If I hadn't showed you, it wouldn't have jumped off. And that is a white maggot. Now, I might... Um, leave a bit earlier I was planning to stay until that four but I might go back three o'clock go home and have a cup of coffee warm up a bit but I might oh fucking hell that went right under him I'll take you again yeah that's a, that's better thank you small fish small fish roach I think that one. Let's uh, taking that one down again. I stay till I catch up to about 30 fish and make tracks home after because I, you know, I've had a good day. And before I do leave, I'll have a walk around the common lake, show you the lake properly. My hands are cold though. Where the old maggots? I need to get some fishing gloves, I think. Now, I've got gloves indoors, but I don't really bring them down because I'm always losing them thermal ones. 
that's fish number 23. And I've been here since about 10 o'clock. What time is now? What, 20 past one. I might give it until, you know, catch 30 fish in total or get it to about 3 o'clock, I don't know yet. And I'll probably pack all my gear up but just leave, have the rod left open and make your box out and just walk around and just give your cast here and there, see what you get. I'm fishing about a foot deep, approximately, maybe foot and a half. The way that it's taken, trying to take that there was very unusual. I think it might be in a carp or something, that one. A little tench. Because of the blood or the, the road, she just takes it back straight away. I don't like these hooks that much though, because um, although they're catching, as soon as I go to grab it, it jumps off. But you know, I'm still landing them. I said I still count. If I like bought it in and it dropped off in the water before. I actually touched it, then like, um, I don't think that's really classed as catching. You know, as long as you've bought it on shore, which I have done, then I'll cast that as a catch. You now, if it jumps off it while it's still in the water, that's not really a proper catch. One thing I definitely need to get some thermal socks and so, from, so, some thermal socks and thermal gloves because my feet are cold, my hands are cold. So far, I've had a great day, really. 24 fish. Number 25. Sometimes I can't like, jump off the hook 
before you even can actually take your account that math, which helps in one way. Oh, because like you know, there's water. Because oh shit, because of the rain last night. It did rain last night, and um, and the ground's wet. And where I'm practically standing or sitting, I'm right on the, uh, the edge of the lake. kind of came in and out. Yeah, I think that's 25 thing. I'll probably have more just so I keep losing count. Oh, I missed it. Should have waited a little bit longer. I've got me fucking nine of four right now. Oh shit. Yeah, I think, yeah, what I'll probably do, hit 30. Uh, pack my chair away. But I'll keep my rod out for a bit. And the maggot box out. And then have a little walk around the lake. Have the odd little cast here and then so we can catch them. It's going to be a bit difficult though with the camera. <laughs> no, nah, actually, I won't do that. I'll learn just walking around that lake quickly, show you the lake itself, and head home. So I really do want to get home and warm up. You know, a nice hot cup of coffee. I don't even see that, but the float's there. It, you know, it's gone under time to time. They usually just go and take a bite and bugger off. Lost it. Came off. That would have been 26. That would have been number 26, guys. I'm using now, um, get them pink, see if I get pink, I'm getting them pink. And the problem being on the common is now where to really go to the toilet. You know, take a pee, but you want to do a number two, <laughs> um, there ain't really well, there's a lot of bushes you can go into, but it means I keep packing your gear away just to go to the toilet. Unless you had someone here who you knew and trust. Now that was in the same location that that fish was fucking around with my bait just then. Buy some more floats actually, better ones, you no know, proper wooden ones. I could probably try making my own, which I have done in the past, but they're uh, more heavier and more better for like park fishing. Shit, 
Oh man, my fucking line got caught up for some reason. I think the line has gone underneath the... line flicked over on the top and I couldn't really in properly flicked over the top the top high which has come up a bit I need to push that down Keep meaning to bring some uh, bread over for the swans. I do like these swans. Beautiful little birds. Now there's two here. I suppose they're male and female. I'm not sure though. Yeah, you've got geese. But they're bloody noisy. See, my float's going to have gone down quite a bit there, but I think that's just the current that's taking it under. Yeah, it was caught on some weed underground, under the water. I've got a tin of sweet corn I could feed them, but I want to use that another day. You know, I've got more sweet corn indoors. But I'll bring them some bread down sometime. I think it's quite damn little bit actually. But I need to get another four to get me 26, um, 30 fish. I just shook my maggot box and fucking all the maggots just came out. Still got like three quarters of a pint from last week. Like, you know, if you put them in the fridge, they will last a hell of a long time. You keep them outside the fridge and in somewhere warm, they will go crystalless within a couple of days. Some people like it, they like that. I don't. I prefer use maggot fresh. Missed it. Too quick. Look, fucking both the maggots off the little sod. Well, they definitely seem to be wanting the white maggot today. But the other day, they was taking pink over the other side of the lake. Kind of weird. Maybe it's like the guy I spoke to earlier, Robin. Um, he said because there's a lot of rain during the night time, it's kind of made the water more murky. And, um, you know, not, they're not seeing the coloured maggots properly, but they are seeing the white ones a bit more clearly. I suppose like me really, if I take my glasses off, which I'm doing right now, I will see two floats instead of one. I need to get the long socks too. At 
socks are like near ankle size and the feet are so cold. Bottom legs. Sort of strikes them. the one I should have striked. Right now. Number 26. No, 27. I'll probably do one but if I when I hit 30, I'll probably go for another one or two just to make sure. Because I you know I do lose count time to time. But I think that's 27. Yeah, I won't bother doing the um, any more fishing. When I walk around the lake, I'll just do a quick walk around the lake, show you the full lake, and then I'll uh, make tracks home. So you know, I don't throw out hundreds of fucking megabytes. You know, when I bought this magnet, this was nearly filled up. And look, I still got all these. So you know, I still got a couple of, couple of days good fishing with these maggots. And depending on what the weather's like tomorrow, I may be down here tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I need to check out what the weather's going to be like tomorrow. One thirty seven. Probably going to miss this next strike. I'm what tomorrow's, tomorrow's going to be sunny with a little bit of cloud. Saturday's going to be very hot, bright and sunny. Okay. I missed it because I was mucking around the camera there. I noticed some little split shot peaks coming down quite a bit. Some people don't actually put split shot between the, uh, the nine hook and the fishing rule line. So from the fishing rule line to the hook line, some people don't really put the um, split shot there. They just let it sink down casually. That's why I always put two really small ones like size 12 I think it is so it's gone under but I don't know if that's a fish on it and I'm fishing nearly like probably about a foot and a half two foot 
It's probably a size 22 fucking foot shoe size. Been a brilliant day, you know. Cold but brilliant. I would like to, you know, beat my score. One day I caught over like 130 odd fish. I think it's about 150. And that's without a word of a lie. Take it, take it. It's hard to fix without how deep it is here as well. Unless you had my like, fucking waders and went out. Or you had to like um, a depth detector. I've got a fish sonar indoors somewhere. So nice the fish, you know, when you get like um, a shoulder fish coming over. Seems so going quiet, you know. Come on guys. Four more fish. If I've been mate just stop thirty one. But then that way, I can say, well, yeah, I've definitely got the first. Because like, I say, I've kind of like miscalculated on the score. Sometimes I don't know if like, it was 17, and I caught another one, 18. Now I'm thinking 18. Now, is that going to be 18? Or have I just already caught 18? So I need to bring in like, right, pen and paper in me as well one day, I think. But the problem is, in this weather, that pen and paper is going to like, keep getting blown around and blown away probably. Lose the pen. Chuck out a little bit of um, heart cheese. Oh, 
issues and not move. Go home, miss that one. in this weather it's sometimes hard to tell if you're getting a bite or it's just like the hook getting like uh, trapped in some weed or on a rock so they think it's still perfect it's not been nibbled or anything yet I do have some grand bike that I've bought down with, but I've not used it. Rather, a bit like using it now, actually. I'm off. Bastard. That would have been 28. He was taking the uh, pink maggot there. That would have been a 28. Some people say, oh, I caught a fish, but it come off and still count it, but you can't count a fish that falls off or doesn't cook properly when you're bringing it in. I don't. No one else should. So, I've had about 27 small ones. Just wait until I get three more, then I'm going to start packing up and go home. Just missed one. Well, I struck, springing it in, and it jumped off. I just want to catch four more and I'm packing up and going home. Well, I'll have a walk around the lake. See what's going on. I do mean I'm fishing after I catch next school. There's a chicken pie there if you want it, it's still off. No, I'm alright, thanks. You right. Sure? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks so much. I've got about three in here. <laughs>
If you want one, there's still out there. No, I'm right, thanks. I like my wildlife over here. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, I like swans and geese. Sometimes I bring some food over for them. But I did bring them. All about it. I know the rangers over here. I know the law over here. Yeah. That's been set alight to a few times all the time. Yeah, I've seen it. When my uh, nephew comes over sometimes to do a, a night time investigation to a ghost hunters. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, we believe that we caught the voice of Leonard, the little boy who drowned here oh, okay. 80 odd years ago. Cool, mate. Yeah, we got like some really well, unusual... My brother, uh, he knows the history is common and uh, some bloke printed a couple of load of books that special thing in there. That's George Biddles. Um, George, uh, yeah, Biddles. I found a coin there, I found a coin there, in the shape of a 50 pence piece, but it was jagged. Oh, right. It had the unicorn on it, it had the Roman's head and shoulders on it. And I had a friend looked down there, and he's worth about four or five grand. Oh. And I took the sum of this, and all that, and offered me nine grand for it. Jeez. So I said, what's the catch? He said, it's done back in the Roman age. I found a couple of old pennies over here going back since the 1930s and they look in the 80s over here, but I ain't got one of them megas. I've just memorised them. Yeah. The only unusual thing I found over here is a cow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this plot over there, there's a spindle there. On that tree there. There's a couple around there, stuck up, stuck on the tree. <laughs> Too high up to get them though. <laughs> Now it's gone quite very quiet here. You now since the last 20 minutes. No, I just did have one, but as I was bringing it in, it jumped off. Too cold to pick up the maggots, even. I tell you, I can't even handle the maggots right now. But I still want to catch those next four fish before I go home. So there was a guy who was just saying that he found an old coin here, which was worth about five grand, an old Roman coin. I found a can of, well, like a little mini musket ball over there. I'm gonna get my next four fish. I really want to try to catch four more, but I might not be able to. It's just gone very quiet. Take it, take it, please. Stop fucking take it. Oh, missed. Fuck's sake. Must have been a small one. Nothing more. So as you can hear, you know, the wind through the uh, cam for the microphone. It is very cold and windy. And now I've sat here this long, I do not know because, you know, I would have gave up by now. That was a fucking big fish. I felt it. That must have been a good half oh, to a pound fish there. Seriously guys, that was heavy. I'm 
must, you know, see, honestly, that was a big fish. fish on this. I'll take it. Stop fucking with it. Take it. Missed it again. What's going on? How long is it going to take me to get four more fish? I mind you, it might be a fish because the white maggot's been sucked. I've got the fucking hook in the end now. I'll just use the same maggot. Look at that. Partially oh, sucked. gone like two o'clock now. It's um, yeah, two, three minutes past two. Seems like a nice old gentleman, although we didn't catch him on camera, but um, he offered me a nice hot pie. But to be honest with you, I don't take food off people unless I really know them. Fucking 
have to make it right out of here. The white and the, the yellow make it. Or white and gold make it. And I'm not even touching the gold one. The more heavier splashes is just like um, wet. Which is curled up into a ball. But yeah, I did notice that float over there's a float over there, so I didn't notice it's about just over on that tree up there. Let me see it. It's over there on that tree. I'm not going to go until I've caught for three more fish at least because I'm on 27. So why I said 40, um, 30. Why well, I said four, I don't know. All I want to catch is one over the top of 30, and then I can say. Don't drag it under. I think the float is a little bit too high up. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. So I've kind of like brought the depth up a little bit more. The fish have to come up for it now. But still, 27 fish is pretty good going. For some reason it keeps going under. It shouldn't be going under. No, unless it's fish, and that's not a fish. Saint's dragging it under. But yeah, it's gone very quiet here now. Very quiet. Don't come off, please. Thank you. Twenty-eight. Quite. Yeah, I still need two more, don't I? 28, 29, 30. So, yeah. I don't know what that is over there shining in the water. Oh, 
See that? And you're all right, and stop shaking around. So I've probably moved up, oh shit. I've moved out this direction a little bit. same year but you keep saying that you want like 31 I don't use I'm saying 31 just to make sure I've gone over 31 so I'm pretty sure that I've got my scoring correct Shoot them both right up. I can't even feel my fingers, they're so cold. So what I'm going to do when I catch the next couple of fish, I'm going to pack up and I'm going to shut the video down, but I'm going to start a new video. Uh, we'll just call it like walking around the lake. Walking around Mitchell Common Lake. we we'll just walk around for five and ten minutes. So I'm finding the tackle laying around.
sometimes, you know, people do lose a lot of tackle over here. Yeah. Now, I can't remember those 28 or 29 I've got now. See, that's what I mean, I, I tend to forget. Oh, yeah, 28. This one fucking cat stops fucking around, goes under a B29. Oh, that is a cheeky nibble. Should be actually hanging underneath with the cloth, but the cloth's all wet, sticky. I'm going to stick that. Oh, I won't put it in the washing machine, but I'll uh, give it a rinse. Some washing liquid when I get home and try to dry it out for tomorrow. Feet are freezing. And then I, don't, I don't want to be up going home with pneumonia. So I think I've caught fucking pneumonia already. So this is V number 30. No, it's been a fucking good day. So I'm taking the float off because I've broken two floats. By the way, I've been packing it in the bag. Take the reel off. Look, I've been lazy to like, you know, take the rod and reel and the float off. It's just that, you know, we've got the rig set up already. You can always like cast that straight away when you get here the next day or whatever you know you ain't got to like sit here for 10 minutes I'm 30 and that's it guys I'm packing up there I'm going to go 31 if I have to do 31 Keep saying, oh, now it's going to be like 32, 33, and I never get home. I'm just going to cast out while I get my shit sorted out anyway. So, 30 fish today, 30 fish today, 30, 30, 30 fish today. So, like, the first day I came over was 5, then 10. No, 5, 4, 10, now 30. Not bad, eh? So, if anyone wants to come over and do a bit of fishing, um, watch my videos, you know, Tent's Corner and the place over there. I'll, sh I'll show you the good places um, as I walk around. Alright guys, anyway, I'm going to shut this off and I'll uh, speak to you all later on. Cheers. And sorry about the, um, the quality of the camera, it's because of the weather conditions. You know, I could put this on full spectrum actually. Um, no, I think it's just because of the condition of the weather. The cloud, it's you now very cloudy, so. Alright, catch you later.